I don't know, man, with that big ass sword last episode with this one being called destroyer. Some some action is definitely something's getting destroyed. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius. It's gonna take me just a wee bit to wake up, guys. I am super tired, I got no sleep, but the show must go on. Must watch some Black Clover. I'm sure like three, five minutes into the episode anyway, I'll be woken up, you know, that how, that's how Black Clover does. But last episode, we had Lotus, which I actually learned his name was actually Lotus, because I'm, I'm pretty sure the name of his group is also the Lotus of the Abyss, but his name is Lotus, I'm almost positive. Going against Luck, Asta, and Noel. Asta was able to get him thanks to a little plan they had. And then it's you know Klaus and Mimosa versus the Diamond guy. And he's shitting on them right now. I have no idea what's going to happen with that. I thought you know was going to beat him, but it did not seem like it's going to be okay. I'm very curious. Remember, guys, if you guys want early access to the next bunch of episodes I upload and full length to this one and all the other shows I'm currently watching, consider checking out that Patreon down below. It's always an option for you. If you want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you could just leave a like and a nice comment down below, it really helps me. Push me out there in the algorithm, helps people see my faces, and I appreciate you guys oh so much for it. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter for the live streams and for the updates. Let's hop into this Black Clover episode 17 Destroyer. A defenseless old man like you, huh? Wow, he broke his arm. I mean, that's one of the things of it being so dull, but him being so strong. It's not gonna cut you, he's gonna break your shit. Is that like special? What are you saying? Everyone says that though. I want to learn more about how special it is. Why is that so cool? I want more answers. Wow, smoke creation magic. He made a little, like a passenger little train cart, like an individual cart. That's cool. But if anyone's going to be quick, it's definitely going to be luck. Lightning boy himself. Oh, and the smoke is getting rid of his subordinates too. He's not trying to, he's trying to uh, limit the amount of information that gets leaked as possible. He knows he would die. He'd get tortured. Hustling lazy car. I love that. Got away. He's good. He's definitely very skilled, talented. Is he detecting the diamond magic? I still remember Yami said his ability to sense magic is second to none. Yep, the diamond mage. Mars. If he has that much faith in him, Mage Warrior, he's a secret weapon. So he has to be nasty. I mean, if he's taking care of you know, and then Lotus has this much faith in him, and his grimoire looks that fucking cool. Ooh, please give me info. Ooh, I want to see it. Artificially amplified? What? Makes sense. Yep, also makes sense. The di okay, I didn't know that. I thought they were just all look, all aesthetic. Oh my god. Is the I, I can definitely name a couple animes like that. Yep. Reminds me of Full Metal Alchemist, if anyone knows what I'm talking about. No spoilers, but. You just had to throw that in there, huh? I get it though, he genuinely feels bad, you know, he can't, he isn't doing what he, he feels like he should be doing. Fierce Spiral Lance. Oh, I thought it was him with like armor around him, but he made a clone. That's very much like Naruto, I like that. He can make a mineral clone. Jesus, bro, imagine trying to dodge a sword like 10 times the size of your body. I'm really liking this fight scene though. This is our first like real legitimately terrifying, like not terrifying, but like poses an actual threat. I don't really think the last ice guy actually posed an actual threat. It's our first mission, come on. This guy I'm fucking nervous about. Having the wind on his side definitely makes him more mobile and I love it. Helps him in this particular situation. Oh, 
That's the same thing he would say to Asta. It's no use because he would just overwhelm him. And he's probably going to find motivation from this. Yeah, I knew he would find motivation from never giving up from his homie. We get to finally... He saved us a couple episodes at the end. We get to save him. Let's go. I'm not even shocked that... I mean, it could be made out of whatever. If it's magic, it's getting cut through. And that's what I like to see. Hey, pale guy. That's like something Naruto would say. I love when our main character is just funny, comes and save the day, you know? So being himself. Right? Good point. Who said that? Oh, okay. I would love to see this ferocious counterattack. Let's see it then. Ooh, he's having flashbacks to a, a very traumatic time. That gives me like Gara vibes. He has his mission, he's gonna do it, but he has a very traumatic past. And yet, this peasant from the Black Bowls is able to do it. Wow! I know how Klaus would say. We'll talk. Let me do, we'll just say that. <laughs> Ooh, the mineral clone. Ooh, good shit, Luck. Luck, the cheery berserker. Is that what he just said? That sounds like Luck. He has these inner monologues with himself all the damn time. Oh, with the dragon's lair. Oh, they had. They might have the little squabbles, you know. But at the end of the day, they're gonna protect each other. You know, they're gonna do what's right. Oh. Okay. Okay. Ooh, this animation looks fucking awesome. The CG on the on the mineral clones don't look too bad either, and on the sword. Yeah, bro, you think your sword's doing shit to Asta? Get the hell out of here. Your sword might be ten times bigger than ours. I'll voice crack, but ours is still fucking better. Oh, okay, that was smart by fucking Mars, but not stopping my boy. Ooh, launch a little fucking projectile, his boy too. Oh, he's coming in hot. Okay, Mars. Fucking crystal palm, some shit like that. Crystal hand, that looks cool. Yeah, bro, no matter what you use, if it's magic, it's gonna get cut through. Learn that. It's crazy. Someone told me, uh, shout out whoever said that in the comments. I forget your name, I apologize. But someone told me that Luck was voice acted by Hinata from Haikyuu. Makes so much sense. I genuinely... If I had a dollar for every time Klaus said the word peasant, or let's say if you know had a dollar for every time Klaus called him a peasant, you know wouldn't be a peasant anymore. We'll just put it at that. I really like the look of his grimoire. I won't lie to you. I won't lie. I like the look of a lot of the characters' grimoire so far. I'm glad that's something that's so unique and that you can definitely go crazy with on the design a little bit, you know? But it looks like kind of similar to Lotus that my man Mars has some sort of I don't want to say ace in the sleeve but he's getting serious he's getting annoyed with Asta and he's like okay we're done with this bro why does my guy look fucking Yo, that's all he's done. I mean, yes, but I just my man has like a fucking ten pack. Of course, clink, 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 clink. All right, Asta, relax. This is literally like Gara. That's literally like Gara and his uncle. <laughs> Hell yeah. You know, it's like smiling. Ooh. Yeah, bro. This is so much like Naruto. And I'm not saying that in a bad way at all, guys. 
A pebble that shatters diamond. It's the best kind of pebble you can be right there. Wait. He fucking did it? Talk about resolve. Talk about fucking... Talk about being a man of your word. And then it flashes back to when he was like, stop, it's pointless, stop trying. And I feel like he's going to do it again. He's going to hit him. And he's going to show you know that through hard work, perseverance, and training, anyone can become a genius. Also, it gives me such Naruto vibes, and I love it. They have such a good friendship. Went from a fucking stick to a huge ass sword. That's the end? Oh, that did go pretty quick. So I didn't write down anything this episode, but Mars's name. He clearly has more of a backstory that we're going to be developing a little bit further, which I'm excited for. I love humanizing our villains. Gara is one of my favorite villain turned good people in all of anime. And I really like the back. I mean, I don't really like the backstory because it's horrific, but I, you know, it's understandable for these times, especially with a struggle of resources. They have some sort of top secret um, warrior program where they take very very high talented very high potential candidates and pit them against each other to maximize the potential of one and then turn him into a super secret weapon and amplify his magic powers and fucking turn him dark and fucking make him psychotic and crazy typical anime shit you know didn't work out because they didn't account for an asta which you can never account for an asta but hey you know like it was a fantastic episode fantastic fight i loved he had a, a number of abilities that he used he used the big sword he used just typical making crystals to attack you he used mineral clones he had a huge mineral clone he was able to use the minerals as a armor around himself personally to use it to attack like i just i love uh it seems as if some everyone has a specific element that they're able to adhere to, like Klaus, steel, you know, wind, mimosa, flower, or plant, whatever. But I'm curious at what gives you that affinity. If it's bloodline, random, whatever. I'm curious. Ah, is it like Hunter Hunter, where like because they have uh, different types of like conjuration, enhancement, you know, all that kind of stuff, like. Like, the, like if I wanted to conjure, like if I wanted to use my power to conjure a chain or manipulate a chain, I would spend hours, you know, feeling chains, looking at chains, hearing chains, like whipping chains. You know, I would just become so attached to chains that would amplify my mental perception and my resolve of chains and Hunter Hunter. Is that anything similar to this? Like, let's say, let's say also similar, I don't know, my hero, you know, like if people, some people have like certain power up quirks that they need to eat something for, you know, like, is there like, does, does Klaus, in order to train his steel, does he go to like an iron factory and fucking go ham there? Does he eat, does he have an iron deficiency? I don't know. It's just the little things I'm curious about, you know? Um, Mimosa, does she have a fucking garden at home? I'm curious. That would be cool. She can just fucking summon her. She can help her plants grow. I don't know. You know, the little things. I'm curious. But overall, fantastic episode. Did not write anything down. Definitely curious. Um, to see what happens next. I want to see what's in this treasure room. I want to see if we get another star from it. I pretty much like this is one of the only times. This is one of the only times in anime where I'm genuinely like, okay, I'm, I want to see the aftermath now because like I'm so new. But like usually I'm like, oh, it's already the aftermath. I want to see more of the climax, you know. And now I'm I'm, I'm ready to see that. I want to see what happens next. I genuinely do. If you guys enjoyed this and want to see early access to the next bunch of episodes I upload, consider checking out the Patreon down below. Appreciate you. Make sure to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter for the live streams and the updates. I will see you guys soon. Peace out, Dapper Squad.